you very much, Honorable MC. Today is a very special day, a day set aside to celebrate the teacher. All the things we see here today, all the things we hear today, are all the doings and the makings of the teacher. The teacher is so wonderful. Cho boy! Boy! Boy, yeah, 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 yeah. My wedding day, sir, will ye teacher? My wedding day, sir, will ye gana ni? Thank you very much. Honorable Ministers of State, Director General of Education and his staff, Nananum, our dear sponsors, heads of unions in education, our distinguished award winners, our guests, colleagues, ladies, and gentlemen. On behalf of the unions in pre-tertiary education, I wish to extend our warmest compliments to all of you who have gathered here today in solidarity with teachers in the country. The World Teachers Day is a moment not only to look back and celebrate many things we have achieved, but also a moment to look at the future. The importance of the World Teachers Day is seen in its raising of awareness about the role teachers play in providing quality education at all levels and the improvement of situations of teachers in the world. The theme for this year's celebration, Teachers Wanted, Reclaiming Teaching and Learning for Human-Centered Recovery. What happened to teaching and learning that has warranted its reclamation? Honorable ministers, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, no one can dispute the fact that the COVID-19 pandemic has become a major global challenge with unprecedented effects, leading to enormous pressure on teachers. As professionals, we had to dig deep into our reservoir of knowledge in our chosen profession to come up with innovative ways of applying our trade for our peoples and students to stay on course. Although the pandemic is causing a lot of discomfort, yet the teacher adopts a holistic approach characterized by respect for individual students and their unique experiences in order to achieve the much needed human-centered recovery we are all craving for. The unions in education wish to commend government for the bold and pragmatic measures put in place to contain the COVID-19 pandemic as it posed a serious threat to teaching and learning, not only in Ghana, but the world at large. Although we are not out of the woods yet, we are confident that efforts by government in procuring COVID-19 vaccines for the vaccination of all citizenry and other measures will ensure that eventually we overcome the threat and move on with our normal lives. We encourage teachers all over the country to take advantage of the arrival of the COVID-19 vaccines and get vaccinated. We also wish to commend our gallant teachers for putting their lives on the line to ensure that the future leaders of our country are not denied quality education that will catapult them to greater heights in future. Honorable ministers, ladies and gentlemen, teachers in this country face several challenges in the discharge of our duty. This led to the unions in pre-tertiary education issuing a press statement on August 10, 2021 this year to catalog the issues and call for solutions to be found to them. Later, we were summoned by the National Labor Commission and directed that the Ghana Education Service 
and the unions iron out all issues by 17th November 2021 and report same to the commission. It is our hope that the Ghana Education Service will cooperate with the unions in pre tertiary education to ensure the resolution of all our concerns tabled before the National Labor Commission to avert any industrial action. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I wish to, on behalf of the unions in pre tertiary education, congratulate our hard working award winners. Your amazing dexterity in the classroom and education offices has paid off. And today we are gathered here rejoicing and celebrating with you. There are numerous challenges in the education sector, yet you have risen above them and proven your mettle to earn your awards. Our heartfelt congratulations to all of you May you continue to make us proud. Honorable Ministers of State, on behalf of the unions in the education at the pre-tertiary level, I want to make this statement with all humility that we know that our president loves us so much. And we also love His Excellency Nana Dodankwa Kufuado, the President of the Republic of Ghana. Unfortunately, this is the fifth time we have missed him in our celebration, in this Deba to celebrate teachers. And on behalf of the teacher unions, I must say that we are not too happy. It is our prayer that come next year, God willing, he is able to join us to celebrate the teacher he so cherishes and loves. May God Almighty bless all education sector workers and make us great and strong. Thank you very much for your attention and goodness.